Singapore Airlines Fifth Freedom Routes – An Ultimate Guide Singapore Airlines is highly regarded for having fantastic service in all of its classes. While many travellers would love the opportunity to experience the airline, they may not have travel plans that take them to or through Southeast Asia. Fortunately, Singapore Airlines has a decently sized list of diverse Fifth Freedom routes that allow Europeans and North Americans the chance to fly the carrier. Certainly on the short and sweet side, you won't be getting too far with these routes. Out of the six Singapore Airlines Fifth Freedom routes, there are just two short ones. Melbourne Wellington, the SQ247 or 248, takes three to three and a half hours long. It's operated by an Airbus A350-900 and Air New Zealand and Qantas also fly this route. And their Moscow Stockholm SQ361 or 362 also uses an Airbus A350-900. This short trip only takes around two hours and connects Moscow's Domodedovo Airport or DME with Stockholm Arlanda or ARN. It doesn't appear that any other airline connects the two airports, although Aeroflot does fly to Arlanda from its hub at Moscow Sheremetyevo or SVO. The carrier racks up some impressive distance, travelling on its four long-haul Fifth Freedom routes. Flying both Trans-Pacific and Transatlantic, these are its long-haul services. Hong Kong to San Francisco, with a very special flight number SQ1 and 2, this Trans-Pacific service is 14 to 15 hours one way and just over 11 hours going the other. This service is flown by either an A350-900 or a 777-300ER. Cathay Pacific and United Airlines are also serving this route. Tokyo to Los Angeles This service has the flight numbers SQ-11 and 12 and takes 9 hours going one way and 11 and a half going the other. It's usually flown with a 777-300ER. This highly competitive route goes up against American Airlines, United Airlines, Delta Airlines, Japan Airlines and ANA. Manchester Houston SQ-51 or 52 uses an Airbus A350 and seems to be the only flight connecting the two cities. The flight takes about seven and a half hours one way and ten hours going in the other direction. As Houston is a United hub and Singapore Airlines is also a Star Alliance member, it would indicate a smoother transfer process for passengers connecting onto other US destinations via United's network. And then Frankfurt, New York. SQ-25 or 26 is one of the few Fifth Freedom routes out there that still uses the Airbus A380 Super Jumbo. Interestingly, this service competes with its other Star Alliance members, United and Lufthansa Airlines, although United flies out of its hub at Newark Liberty. One of Lufthansa's services between Frankfurt and New York also uses an A380. Going east, the flight takes six to six and a half hours. Flying west, it's more like eight and a half. While Singapore doesn't have a lengthy list of Fifth Freedom offerings, the few that it does have are quite interesting and offer passengers a lengthy amount of time to experience their highly regarded in-flight service. What's even better is the opportunity to fly in some great aircraft, including the A350-900 and the A380. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.